those rivalries start to carry over, and this is going to be a rivalry going forward. It's going to be one to watch. UTSA won the toss, deferred to the second half. Texas State will set up on their own 29-yard line. Roadrunners looking to force a three and out. Jones under pressure. Ball is loose. UTSA has it. Dantzler dancing. End zone. 27-yard scoop and score. The transfer from last chance U, Lorenzo Dantzler. Puts yeah. the Roadrunners out ahead. So then your starting quarterback. He just doesn't have the understanding of the full playbook just yet. But now's the time to learn. And there you see the arm on display, but overthrows. Some young guys up there, they've got to earn their stripes. And so far, they're trying to get on the same page. They need three feet. They'll get it and then some. Rhodes down the sideline into Popcat territory. Become the all-time leading rusher for this program by the end of this season. Picks his holes, dies forward, and there's another one of those trademark gains of five to six yards for Jalen. On third and six. Rundy eyes downfield. First down inside the 10 for the Roadrunners. And they have not whistled this play dead. Scooping oh, up out. and level. Watch out. Ishmael Davis at the moment has a fumble recovery. Grundy under pressure. Back in the end zone. No. Able to haul it in. Tyke Ogle Kellogg. Oh, that six foot four. Freshman target. Wow. Able to haul it in. Oh, that is that is pretty outstanding. Defense showing inside pressure once again. Good protection. Now under pursuit along that inline, got out of the tackle box and did that get to the line of scrimmage. Nine true freshmen to start on the offensive line this year for his respective school in the FBS level. Dancing finally patiently finding some room and that is going to be a first down carry by Jalen Rhodes. You better be able to move people out of the way but also get up field. Grundy looking for the screen. Ball is loose. They're going to rule it a catch and a fumble here in San Antonio. His third appearance now in four games for the Bobcats. Vitt able to roll right. This back to the line of scrimmage. Breaking the tackle is Keenan Brown. Keenan Brown has a first down and then some. And for the first time today, the Bobcats are in UTSA territory. And he may see some things that Gibson just not be able to see yet. Last play was for a loss of one. Option pass. Vitt has the catch of the first down. And Vitt inside the 15 has lit a fire under this Bobcats offense. Knocking on the door of their first score today. Trying to take Roadrunners with them. And did that ball come out before the goal line? They say touchdown. They will say he broke the plane before the ball came loose. You don't pull out too quick. Vitt keeps it behind that line. And he appears to be in one play later. So Tyler Vitt, the freshman, with his first career touchdown on his first drive today against UTSA. Rundy with three receivers and a tight end. They've had success. Bobcats have not been able to slow down the running game. It's a two-man attack for UTSA. Both have had success. This time it's back to B.J. Daniels. Bobcats looking to force their first punt. Underneath, route for the first down, almost lost that first down, but Campbell, with his speed, able to get to the sideline for about an eight-yard game. So they converted on third down. Grundy will roll to his right. By himself time. Had his tight end. It is caught by Sharp. And Gavin Sharp will have about a seven-yard gain. So third and two to start the second quarter. And Jalen just able to get back to the line of scrimmage. These two teams will not meet due to scheduling conflicts next year, but then they will meet for the next six years afterwards. 
One on one has the tight end. And that is a mismatch every game on this schedule for the rest of the year for Texas State. Again, Keenan Brown, the graduate transfer from Oklahoma State. And who had the assignment that time. Not much Johnson could have done. Vitt has it deflected. Picked off by UTSA. Second turnover forced. Just trying to keep it a one score ball game. And that pocket collapses in a hurry. As Hal Vinson, the man playing Big Spoon to Cordell Grundy's Little Spoon. Here comes the pressure. Grundy elusive. And Grundy will be tackled two yards shy of converting what was a third and 15. Again, your third string quarterback for the Bobcats. One of the best things going for them, Tyler Vitt finds what a lot of folks would consider position-wise is your security blanket. Yeah. And that uh, tight end dragging across the formation has been pretty good right now. Already three catches today, 10 coming into the week. Leads this group. And this can be close to another first down for these Bobcats. You, when you think about that and... Vitt looking to air it out down again. the middle. Guess who? Now the run after the catch by the 250-pounder Keenan Brown. And he's able to lead this team up and down the field on a few drives, so. White, the man in motion. Vitt rolls that direction. Cuts it up field, sees open space. In the red zone this year. Pocket collapsing. That is a loss of eight yards as coming through to clean things up for UTSA, Dequarius Henry. Do anything silly, let's protect the football if it's not there. Underneath. And the Bobcats are going to at least improve their odds of splitting the uprights here. They hit that draw in there for about 150 yards. This is about the same analogy here. Freshman made his first career extra point earlier today and will miss an opportunity for his first three-pointer. Third and seven for Grundy. Toward the sideline, just throws it away so they can live and pump this one away. Able to extend the play. Oh, wow. Ball is out, incomplete pass. Big licks all around. That time, C.J. Levine. So they need the 40-yard line of Texas State to keep this drive moving. And they'll have it. It's a good throw. That's a nice route by Campbell. You have to get past that first down marker, and he gave himself a couple extra yards to work with. Or cheering on their teams. Roadrunners and Bobcats, again, fourth and one. Grundy rolls right, could pick it up himself, and will take it out of bounds. It's the luxury of a mobile quarterback. Yeah. Don't be surprised if Chris Woods dials up another blitz and brings some extra guys in here to make sure. Grundy has time, has his tight end in and out of the hands, not just of Gavin Sharp, but of that secondary as well for Texas State. 40-yard field goal try here for Jared Sackett. And the Roadrunners will stretch it to a double-digit advantage with 40 seconds to go before halftime. He is making the most of his opportunity tonight. He already has one more catch today than he probably thought he would have. He will slide a yard or two short. And now they throw in a flag. Was there contact after he gave himself up? Find the clock back into motion. Vit. Uh -oh. Right into pressure and right into the open arms of Clayton Johnson. And now UTSA will have the football in Bobcat territory with 15 seconds left. Grundy with his full arm behind it, a jump ball in the end zone. And that ball, Texas State. They've struggled as of that second quarter against this Bobcats defense. They need three yards here. And they will get those three yards and then some. A five-yard gain dialing up Kirk Johnson, Jr. A Mike Leach a description of one of his receivers uh, as being open but slow. <laughs> or slow <laughs> but Only open. Mike Leach can yeah. say that. 
So as long as we don't need yardage after the catch, reliable. The one third down conversion on this drive for UTSC. Down the middle into traffic and in and out of the hands. Oh, he got a kiss out of Ogle Kellogg, who had defied the odds mm. to find an open pocket in space. Probably one of the more accomplished interior linemen the Texas State Bobcats have had in several years. Uh, that time rolling out into danger, and it's the fan favorite, Josiah Tauefa, coming through with the big stomp, a loss of five. Third and ten for Vitt and the Bobcats. And they bring them. Steps over his own man, and never a chance. Swallowed up by the front seven of UTSA. It's one of the areas Frank Wilson, of course, believes is fixable and can lead to victories moving forward. Rundy rolling out, so fluid. And again, able to hit Greg Campbell, Jr. London already has his degree. He's just now a junior. Tau Effa will graduate in December. Grundy gets popped. That ball tipped. It'll be caught, but after all the bobbling, instead of a first down, it'll be fourth and two. <laughs> then go on to be commissioner of the SEC. And to put things in perspective with that 300 years for San Antonio, uh, the United States of America has not yet celebrated 300 years. Right. <laughs> They'll pick back up the series in two years. Vitt would be a junior. Gets rid of it in time. We've seen three turnovers forced by UTSA. They were hoping for a pick there, but instead finding some space and a first down as Bedford hauls it in. Delivers a good pass. Needs one block, has it. It's not an obvious void that they'll point out to you because they have more depth at the position. Now looking at one-on-one -on -one downfield. Right place, right time, but no, a flag will fly. It'll be pass interference coming up on Godfrey. That looks like UTSA bringing heat again. That line is holding, but so is the secondary of UTSA. Finds the tight end, and they find the end zone. Keenan Brown. Wow, that is fantastic. Actually was playing football in China this offseason on a How about that on a trip of sorts over there and I have to imagine there was his godfather who sold him on it after Bill seems to be over in China each year UTSA is going to be starting out around their own 30 yard line still hanging on to just a three point lead right now they're winning the battle up front third and nine the battle and able to win out for UTSA, Greg Campbell hauls it in for the first down. Final seconds of the third quarter. Daniels stood up, did not get it. From the Bobcat 38 yard line. And they'll get it, and then some. Jalen Rhodes inside the 25, down to the 22 yard line. So many Texas natives on these two rosters, understandably. Grundy airs it out. Man in the corner and just mm. beyond the reach of Campbell. Well, here's a guy who did not kick a 59-yard field goal to end the opening half. Uh, Jared Sackett from 40 is good. And UTSA gets those three points back that they surrendered with the onside kick. Grundy rolls right into pressure, still has the composure to hit his tight end, Sharp. And Sharp's going to pick up the yardage after the catch. The runners want points here, but at the very least, just taking time off the fourth quarter clock. Elusive, still behind the line. It'll be another first down, and then some Campbell with the spin. And will be just short of the 25. It's remarkable that he's been able to complete the passes that he has thus far. Remember, you have a backup center in for this critical stretch here to close out the ball game. Grundy stays behind the line of scrimmage, and that ball just beyond the reach of Ogle Kellogg. This time from the right hash mark. And he's three for three. Watch out. Under duress, and not going to be able to escape it.
Here comes Tawaiupa. One on one down the sideline. And after all the effort there from Haydell creating separation, who back up offensive linemen now in on this big third down play. Grundy. And no separation to be had downfield. Still have plenty of time here. You got two timeouts remaining. Rutsis. It blocked. Hello. Just what the Bobcats needed. Keep it in play, but they can't stay on their feet. They'll have to settle for possession inside the red zone. They got this defense on their heels right now. And nothing doing for Vitt initially. Well, that second, second, third effort probably got him the first down. Big moment for the defense of UTSA. Here comes the heat. Down the middle. Has his man. Got him. Bobcats back in business. And atoning for the drop a moment ago, Hutch White. Uh, you got to keep feeding these receivers. You got to come back to your guy. Grundy keeps it first down. So clock will just briefly stop while they reset the chains here and then start melting back down. Third and one here for Grundy. And Daniels uh -oh. will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Bobcats have held. With one timeout left, a little under three minutes to go, they should be getting this football back. Well, the Bobcats have only run eight of the last 35 offensive plays in this ball game. UTSA has controlled the football in the second half when it's mattered the most. And how about what the Bobcats have to look forward to here? Ray Guy would be proud for Vitt to cement his legacy in this young rivalry. And he will not get out of the end zone. Now this line jug is saying safety. Must go 10 yards, it does. And wisely, once you've got it, get down. Get this football back to your offense. Campbell secures it. Outside their power five foes. They got through those first three weeks healthy. Final snap for UTSA and the Roadrunners are still perfect in this all-time rivalry. All-time against the Bobcats as Frank Wilson and Everett Withers meet. Well, there's a lot of things to look forward to for both these programs in the near future, especially getting back into conference play, uh, but an entertaining one here tonight.